Grogan that got the start today, and the Patriots uh, beat the Dolphins by a touchdown. Next, the team of the 70s proves that it's not dead in the... Found Love You Blue to be a bad song. Stay with us. On paper, it looked easy. But you see, that's why they don't play football games on paper, as Gail Gardner certainly can attest to. Well, Curtain, and they were hoping for something like that today. First quarter, Joe Montana's pass is picked off by cornerback Dwayne Woodruff. He's back at. what they hoped they'd be able to show through the air this afternoon. Let's go that back is, to Chris. That is for sure, Gail. Thank you. And as far as the top teams in the NFC West are concerned, as John Lennon once sang, strange... ...to the game, and the score we showed you a short while ago at Green Bay has stood up for the final, as uh, the L.A. Raiders have opened up with a goose egg on defense, beating the Packers by... from Roger Craig. I think if they can get that along with a Montana passing game, they're going to have some success. They do need Roger Craig to return to that form when he was... This man to my left, Pete Axtelm, was starting to sing Love You Blue. You picked the Oilers in the, NF in the uh, AFC Central. We laugh. Uh, you're right. Tough at home. And, you know, uh, Chris and Gail were talking before about this game isn't played on paper. And, in fact, this becomes more significant today because uh, we had two dirt teams from a... ...a big factor in upsets the, that uh, we don't think about when we're, when we're analyzing th these things. Another question, a lot of people are looking for this new Ram offense under Ernie Zampese. on the first drive of the uh, second half for Cleveland. Bobby Hebert goes to work. Look at the catch by Mike Jones, who takes a belt for Frank Minifield, but he holds on. Gain of 11 on a... Bruce Clark, number 75, gets him in the grass. They call a safety in the fourth quarter. Marty Schottenheimer cannot believe it because the Saints have gone up 23-21. In the grass rule, Tom, what do you think of that rule? that at the end of the half, Bobby Joe Edmonds collides with Tony Burst, fumble, Mark Munford picks it up for Denver. A few plays later, with the clock ticking. win it by a score of 34 to 19 the vikings spotting the lions the early lead then moving on well i'll tell you what it's time to add them up for, with mr axtelm and pete give up touchdown and only lost by two a victory the broncos down 17-7 i was just as confident as tom jackson sure if you believe that you, you, you can uh,
winds up being a 17-17 final, as Dan Reeves can't believe it. The key stat on this game has to be the six Bronco turnovers as they finish in a 17-17 tie. championship and the only thing that Dan ever says to you is that don't find the pressure just win the toss they're 0 for 2 for coin tosses but one win and one tie yeah. and what about Carla to having that sideways kicker you wish you had a guy who comes straight onto the ball on a slippery field maybe they should go to the bullpen and ask for Jim Jim Turner, Turner right, right here let's go with, the with, the, with the guy with speaking of being straight on <laughs> a little truth in advertising is called for here Last week, when the Broncos scored 40 points, Tom Jackson cheered for them throughout the game, saying, We can do it, guys. It was they. <laughs> they tied. The Packers. <laughs> I can't believe Mikowski, by the way, is wearing number five. I mean, he's not the golden boy, at least not yet. I can't believe the Packers. To lose its opener was the defending champion, Browns. And they knew that no 0-2 team has ever made it to the Super Bowl. The Browns, true, had beaten the Steelers five straight times in Municipal Stadium. Back. And hand for Dixon, 29. Second down and six at the Pittsburgh 19. Bernie Kozar to Fontenot. Fontenot will throw it to Kevin Mack, 14 yards. Drive capped off by Mack. See you the game. 20 to 10 Browns. Next series, it goes from bad to worse for number 16, Mark Malone. On second and 10, Malone chased out of the pocket, throws to the former ball. Things a little different. The Pope isn't here. With the Eagles up by 17, it took Ruben Mays out of the game. They had to throw. And the Eagles secondary burned last week by Doug Williams. Later in the drive, Wilson shows that he can move. Blank for Tommy Kramer, he says, I like this spot. Goes deep to Anthony Carter, who is wide open. Five. start to look like the team everyone expected they would be this year. Let's go back to you, gentlemen. All right, John, thank you. Big loss and a big win for the Seahawks on game day, Tom. You were lauding the play of Bosworth in the loss last week. What about today? He played well again. Today. At home in the Dome, different ball club. Different ball club, and I happen to notice a new quarterback duel. The question now, who will most welcome a break from a strike? Mark Malone or Todd Blackwell? <laughs> You're a tough ass. If you're an opposing quarterback, uh, 17 times in their last 18 meetings, Miami has been able to corral the Colts. This time, they simply needed to do it again, or else they faced an 0-2 start with uh, Dome. Don Shula pacing the sidelines. Yeah, they hadn't lost the Colts since 1980. On the Colts' first possession, fourth down, a 59-yard field goal by Dean Biasucci. Well, maybe not. 